Hey, welcome to my Prayer Review Reviews. We're reviewing Ghost Rider and Little Black Book. Really? Yes. And yes, you're not mistaken, I am rocking some Rocco's Modern Life PJs, which is fucking awesome. So. Okay, we're gonna. First is Ghost Rider. Yay. This kid, his father's sick with cancer, and he sells his soul. No, so he has to work for the devil. That's basically the whole movie. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't want to give any spoilers. Oh, Christ, no. I'll spoil this movie, please. Yeah. Well, I, I enjoyed it. Do what? I liked it. You liked it? Yeah. Uh, is that it? Yeah. Wow, that has got to be the shortest review. Give it here. Give it here. All right. Ghost Rider. Saw this back in uh, 07 when it came out. Uh, we actually uh, used to work at the theater, and we'd always have like these private screenings for ourselves. Uh, either before the movie was released, or we would do it on the weekends, you know, after the place closed down. And we watched this one. And I've seen this movie more times than I should have. Like, I've literally, yeah, I've seen it at least four or five times now, and that's sad to say, because it's not that great. Um, it's awesome. However, it's not the worst thing you can watch. There are plenty of, you know, worse Nick Cage movies out there. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, uh, my big grab to, like, I, as far as superhero movies go, I like the story, or at least the origins of this better. Like, I can swallow more of a supernatural superhero, like, with a supernatural origin, with, you know, the occult or whatever, as opposed to just getting hit with gamma radiation or passing through the Earth's atmosphere and getting, you know, some kind of superpowers. Or, you know, getting bit by a radioactive spider. I mean, I'm, I'm not buying any of that. So I can buy the whole he sells his soul, you know. I'm a big fan of Spawn. Like, I like Spawn. Uh, so I'm on board with that. But it's just the execution that's a little ridiculous. A, some of the worst CGI you'll ever see. Uh, Mark Steven Johnson, who also directed Daredevil, he's not much of a director, uh, as if you've seen Daredevil, you would know. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, Nick Cage is way too old to be playing the role of this character. Um, I mean, they could put a little black wig on him to try to make him look younger, which apparently it worked on this one, because she really was like, he looks so young. I'm like, no, he doesn't. You know how you yes. look? You know what? You don't have no old wrinkles. You put enough makeup... Uh, black wig and CGI his muscles in there. Guess what? You'll look like a totally different person. And yes, they CGI'd his muscles. There's a scene where he gets out of the shower and he's looking in the mirror and he looks ripped. And I remember I watched it because I believe this is the movie that came out after The Wicker Man in the incredible Nick Cage, you know, filmography there. But in like Wicker Man, he's pudgy and fucking out of shape and everything. So when I saw it on the big screen, I was like, well, this movie isn't the greatest, but fuck. He looks great, like, you know, kudos to Nick Cage for getting himself in the shape for the Coast Rider. No, he didn't get himself in the shape. It was CGI. He used, like, a body double or something and just put his head. They either put his head on a body double or they just digitally put, I don't know. Either way, it, it's not him. It's not him at all. It's his head and that's it with his ridiculous hair. Uh, you know, the whole time, like, Sam Elliott keeps calling him kid, which I guess <coughs> Sam Elliott, bless you. Sam Elliott's old as shit anyway, which I love Sam Elliott. This is not me knocking Sam Elliott because he's fucking awesome. But it's like, I don't know. I, I feel like Ghost Rider should have been someone in their 20s. I'm just saying, a young young person, young and... Dude, he was like 40-something when he played this character. Come on, really? Really? Um, the whole story has so many holes in it. Like, okay, my favorite thing is at the very end, I'm going to spoil it because fuck it, it's fucking Ghost Rider. Uh... After Nick Cage defeats the demons he's sent after, he has the script or the scroll, and you know, and of course the Satan played by Peter Fonda wants it, and he's like, "No, I'm gonna use my power 
and turn it against you, you know. So he's like, ah, and, you know, Satan disappears. Well, him and uh, Eva Mendez, who plays his love interest in this movie, I forget her fucking name. Uh, didn't even say on here. Uh, anyways, he leaves her because he, he knows that now he must, you know, you can't have a, a girl for, when you're a superhero. But I'm like, what's stopping Peter Fonda from just like, as soon as like it shows Nick Cage right off and she's left by that tree, just go back there and kill her anyways. And the fact that they never even thought of that, I'm like, really? Yeah, I don't know. There's just a lot of little things in this movie that's just kind of ridiculous to me. Um, uh, like at one point, like he scoops up a fireball like it's a snowball and throws it at, you know, West Bentley. Oh, that's an interesting story too. So we watched this movie, and we we got the two disc special edition because fuck, we needed two discs for this. And um, they have a whole interview, and they're talking about how oh, Wes Bentley, you know, he he doesn't just do any role, right? Like he's very careful and he selects his roles perfectly, you know. Well, on NPR back in 2010, Wes Bentley confessed that for the past you know however many years that he was completely fucked up on coke and heroin, and he was just taking any role. To pay for his drug habit, this one included. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. I just I, I'm not huge on it. But once again, the fact that I've seen it like five times within the span of a decade is ridiculous. Anyways, I mean, I don't know. Um, is it the worst way to spend a Saturday night? No, it, it really isn't. Once again, I would put this over Wicker Man. Knowing next, both National Treasures. I didn't even care for Matchstick Man. Weatherman, I don't know, if you just name any Nick Cage movie in the last 20 years, it'd probably suck balls. Uh, with the exception of him being in Kick-Ass, he was awesome in Kick-Ass, but uh, I, it's not the worst way to spend your Saturday night, but it's definitely not the best way either. So, uh, yeah, I would... Uh, I recommend the movie. I haven't seen Part 2 yet, and I hear it, Part 2, they kind of do up the deal with Punisher, where it's almost like they alter the origin story a little bit, so it's almost like a pseudo-remake as opposed to a sequel. I don't know. It looked horrible, too, so I didn't fuck with it, so... Yes, yeah, so that's, that's it. That's, that's Ghost Rider. Okay. Little Black Book. Okay. Brittany Murphy plays in this. What's she doing now? She oh, doesn't. that's too soon. Sorry, sorry. Oh, okay, good. Okay. She, um, gets like a job at like a TV, uh, talk show. Yeah, a talk show. And,. I guess um, she decide, she like snoops through her boyfriend's uh, phone and finds like all his like ex girlfriends. When she finds out that he sees all of them, <laughs> yeah, she sees all of them, and then she says that um, sets them up and. Like all of them up, and then it turns out she's she turns out that she she be she's on the sh on the show because her friend set her up because the, the episode was called The Little Black Book. Was good stuff. Yeah. Well, give a review. You gotta give a review. You just gave a synopsis. You gotta yeah. give like a review of it. I liked loved it. I like how, like, um, she set him up, but then all the, the girls freaking mad at her. Mm -hmm. yeah. So this... And then she oh. ends up freaking crying because she dumped him. Yeah. I'm like, really? Yep. It was a good one, for sure. Little Black Book, uh, basically, uh, Brittany Murphy plays this young girl who goes to the city, and she, uh... It's a job. Uh, Kathy Bates, I forget her name in the movie, but she's the talk show host. She's almost like a, an Oprah type. It's like Oprah combined with like Jerry Springer. It's kind of what the show feels like. It's a talk show. Anyways, uh, she gets a job as an associate producer on this show. Anyways, at the same time, she just moved in for a new boyfriend, played by Ron Livingston, which I'm a big Ron Livingston fan. And I'm not going to lie, it just stems from one movie. And I'm not saying he's not great in anything else. He's done other stuff that's really good, but uh, Office Space. Every time I watch it, you know, I'm just like Peter Gibbons. 
office space. Awesome. Um, and he's just he's a he's a recruit for a, a scout for a, a hockey team. So, anyways, um, yeah, they you know they're, they're, they've been dating for a while now. And anyways, when she starts talking to her friends about him, they're like, "Well, you need to, you know, you, girlfriend, you need to check him out. You know, check out his little black book and all this stuff." So basically. Instead of just trusting her man like she should, she fucking just goes through her snoofing on his phone. And truthfully, he never cheats on her. Like, at all. He was actually a decent guy. In fact, everybody else is a fucking monster in this movie but him. But since it's a fucking chick flick, they kind of tilt it toward him. So, like, even, like, when he's talking to ex-girlfriends. And he doesn't do anything bad. He does not cheat or anything like that. He goes on a, a picnic with one of the, the girls. That's kind of he, cheating. He got a meal of an old friend. He, he, that's a date. Not really. Yes, it is. He grabbed him a bite to eat, just with an old friend. And yeah. anyway, the whole time, they just make it look like he's just the worst fucking human being ever. Anyways, so she starts getting all jealous and shit. So she starts tracking down all these ex-girls. And they're all just fucking wacky and kooky in their own little way. I don't know. I'm not going to lie. This is one of those movies where, as we're watching it, I'm on my phone fucking doing else. I mean, I, I can do that. I can really... Cause it's one of those movies that's that complex. You can walk away for like 20 minutes, come back, and you know what's going on. Um, I don't know. Brittany Murphy I was never a huge fan of. Uh, even though she was in Sin City, yet you could play anybody else in that same role and it would have been probably better. Um, she does do the voice of Luann on a... King of the Hill, so that's a plus right there, I guess. But I don't know. Other than that, I'm just not a big Brittany Murphy. So, so the whole time I'm watching this movie with her in it, I just can't get into it. I'm trying. Uh, the really old person I thought I did. Not girl. I guess not. I guess I'm not a chick. Uh, the only person I, I really thought did a really good job, because um, even like Ron Livingston is just kind of, it looks like he's just almost phoning it in, uh, was Holly Hunter. She plays uh, her friend who eventually does just kind of bitchy backstabs her. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. It was just, it was garbage. Uh, you get a cameo by Carly Simon at the end, which, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know what to say. It, it was fucking horrible. It was just, uh, it was kind of, it, it, I will say, I mean, I can't just completely shit on it. I guess one good scene was, like she said at the end, they kind of, like, because she's, as she's snooping on his ex-girlfriends, she's pretending to, you know, each of them, she has a different story for each of them. Like, one of them, she's like, I'm going to sell your book. You know, I'm going to help you sell your book. And one of them like, here's a cooking show. We're going to get you on a cooking show. So she's just kind of, she's lying to each of them. And then it all kind of comes together because when her friend sets her up, what she does is she gets all the girlfriends together. She gets her on the show as well. And then, of course, they bring in, you know, the boyfriend. And I don't know, man. It just, it was kind of cool to see, like, you know, this explosion that takes place. But at the same time, you're just like, eh. Uh, I will say this. It doesn't have a traditional... Oh shit! Uh, chick flick ending, like it doesn't just end with her, him, and her. Like, oh yeah, we're happy ever after. Uh, and I, I will, I guess, applaud that. I guess because I mean, that's what I was expecting from the beginning. Like they're just gonna end up together and happily ever after, and they don't do that. So, but I don't know. It's it's just garbage. And I wasn't the only one I thought so. It bombed at the box garbage. office. And it, was, it was garbage. You're garbage. You're garbage. You're garbage. I'm Rocco. <laughs> hey, Mark. Anyways, uh, yeah, so that's all I have to say about Little Black Book. It was, now we'll say this DVD, she didn't watch it, but I was checking it out. They had a, a little documentary called Be My Guest, Inside Daytime Talk Shows. And that was kind of interesting, because they kind of, they had a lot of, uh, Jerry Springer's, uh, people on there. And then they just had, like, other people, and they didn't really, they never exactly specified anybody, like, what show they worked for. But it seemed like the Springer people was cool with it, they're like, fuck, we were for Springer. Uh, but they did like a little, it's like a, basically a behind the scenes on like how actual daytime TV works. And that was kind of interesting because I didn't know half the shit on that. Uh, so that was cool. But other than that, you can pass on both these movies and still but be happy. I, I so. recommend both of them. You recommend both of them? Yeah. So, all right, well. Yeah. Uh, if you guys got any requests on any movies you want me to review, hit me up on Facebook. You, have Facebook. you also have a Twitter now. Yeah, I hit me up on Twitter. Twitter? Yeah, Twitter. Um, and then, of course, leave the comments down below. I don't need to do personal messages anymore. I think that's kind of a thing of the past. We've been gone for a year, so uh, I know that's one thing I don't get or anymore. comment below. So comment below. Check her on Facebook. Uh, show your love, guys. Show your love. Yeah. So, 
So is that it? Yeah. Till All next right. week. Peace.